Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Buff Geek here and today I'm going to be checking out the trailers from San Diego Comic Con. There was a whole bunch of stuff that dropped, this is like a little bonus show. And when I say little, it's going to have to be because I don't have much time today. I'm waiting on someone coming to help uh, do some adjustments in the gym, so I'm going to fire through these at a rapido pace, but I did want to comment on them. And um, if you want to be able to watch all of the trailers from San Diego Comic Con yourself, you can go to our website. Yes, you should definitely go to our website. That's where you're going to find them at the Bucky Cop Podcast. I did it again. God damn. It's because I'm drinking. Trying to get a protein shake in and all this kind of stuff, rushing about, trying to get ready for people coming, doing this and that. But it's no excuse to fuck up my lines, is it? No. It's at the Podcast blog.wordpress.com. That is the Podcast blog.wordpress.com. Yep. Finally got there, though. Finally got there. A few things going on. Um, I've got an Inhumans trailer. We've got The Walking Dead, which I don't even know if I'm going to watch. Not because it's not important to people, but I don't really know anything about it. So, I don't really know what's happening. Uh, maybe I'll watch it in just a straight up cold reaction. Maybe that'll be fun. We've got a trailer for The Gifted. We've got a Defenders trailer. Um, we've got a Justice League trailer. And we've got the Thor Ragnarok trailer. So, if you're the type of person who doesn't like to watch trailers... Um, you best stay away from this, okay? Just, just, just stay away from this episode. Although, I just want to say a quick thanks to everyone that supported the channel this whole time because it's just uh, just went over the year anniversary, which happened on uh, Saturday past there, since I filmed the first uh, the first episode, which was called Whitewashing and Gender Swapping or something along those lines. I changed the I changed the name of it actually just the other week there as I was fiddling about with stuff. And, um, you know, randomly, um, me and David started uh, hanging out and David was a, a guest on the show and I had a few other various guests coming on. But very quickly, um, me and David became a, a an announced team, if you will. <laughs> and, um, you know, we always do the Thursday nights together. And then suddenly we've got we've got another um, a semi, semi-regular guest becoming a member of the team, Ian, and he's only semi-regular because he splits his time between Perth and Glasgow, and um, and then our man, hashtag it's Steve, so somehow we've all come together and we're, we're this, this joyous team of um, geekery and knowledge, and it's uh, real fun, and I want to thank those guys for all the work that they do, and all the, the posting, and just uh, turning up every week and, and having the banter. And um, hopefully providing a really fun, entertaining show for you. And also, always um, David always calling me out on when I screw up the Buff Geek Cod cast. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks you guys, and thank you to all you listeners out there. You know, we uh, we wouldn't really have a show if uh, you guys weren't listening. It would just be us recording stuff and no one hearing it. So, yeah, you guys are all part of the show. And I say guys, when I say guys, I'm that's including guys, girls, dogs, cats, whatever you are, you know. Right, I'm gonna pause this bad boy. I'm gonna watch the first trailer. I might do walk yeah, I'm gonna do in humans first, because that's the the first one that came out chronologically according to the website. So without further ado. Well 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 that trailer was shit. Um I mean, it was trying to sell that it's a really important, really important event, and I think they're showing the first episode of it in an IMAX theater. The whole thing. Don't really care about IMAX, you know. Don't really, like. Why would I go to the theater to watch a TV show? I mean, certainly not one that's that's just the Inhumans, you know. It'd have to be something big to get me to go there. It's not like I wouldn't. Like if they put the last episode of Game of Thrones in the theater, I'd want to go. But maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I just would be busy and I wouldn't bother, you know. So uh, the convenience factor is gone. So I don't know if that's the right choice. I don't even know if they're still doing that. But that's what I heard a whole whole um, a few months ago. Um, I don't know a whole bunch about the Inhumans. The Inhumans for me were like, oh look, there's the Inhumans. They were just like a side group, and they'd come in and occasionally help if you needed someone's powers. Like, oh, we need we need uh, 
you know, Medusa to do this thing, or we need, um, Crosh, I can't remember the, Black, we need Black Bolt to do the scream thing and bring all his team in, and that'll, that'll distract Apocalypse from whatever he's doing, so, <clears throat> I don't know, like, I'm not that fussed about it, I've got to say, um, the cast, um, I mean, you've got Ken Lung in there, who's playing Karnak, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but he was in uh, the X Men Three, X Men: The Last Stand, as some like uh, I can't remember it, like a really minor X Men character, and then the spikes would come out of his face. So I'm kind of like, hey, that's the X Men guy, because that's how I always think of him. Um, <clears throat> also, we've got Ramsey Bolton in there doing a subpar job. Um, I don't know. The show doesn't look very good. Um, it's never really interested me. I don't like the fact that the Inhumans kick the X Men's ass simply because they're owned by Disney Marvel, and you know everything. And Disney Marvel needs to be the best, even in the comic books now, considering the X Men and Spider Man uh, carried their asses all the way through the nineties and stopped them um, stopped Marvel going out of business. If you didn't have the X Men, you know you would not have Marvel today. I mean that's why they got movies in two thousand. Like they get, they got movies in two thousand. Um, you know, a long, long time before before Marvel was cool. They were trying to do stuff with the X Men. So I don't really, I don't really know about this trailer. I just, it just looked cheap, and the fight scenes looked bad, and it was kind of like the sound was hitting, and it was like that song's like, <laughs> and someone's doing like a punching movement, and it looks weak. And considering they've got, I mean, it's Marvel, it's 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 Disney Marvel. They've got the um, <coughs> excuse me, the team who do Daredevil. There's no reason for why any fight scenes do not look immaculate after that. It looks hokey. I don't get the big dog thing. Medusa's hair looks cheap. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just saying it straight up right now. I have no interest in the show. Um, I'm not going to watch it. You know, if I'm I'm going to go back and watch the old X-Men cartoons when I finally buy that DVD box set, or the Spider-Man ones, um, or I might even watch some of the, the new cartoons with the Avengers and stuff, but uh, that's so far down the list of if I could even be arsed. So yeah, that one is totally out. Sorry if that offends anyone who loves the humans or is really waiting for this one, but maybe you guys let me know. Um, I just don't have any affinity towards it. Speaking of having no affinity towards something, I think I'm going to watch The Walking Dead Season 8 trailer. Woo fucking who. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda skipped through the trailer a little bit because that's a five minute trailer. For something that I don't even care about. <coughs> yeah, we'll have to talk about it this week. We'll maybe drop in a little bit of flavour on this one on um, on this week's show when we talk about Game of Thrones or, or something. You know, a good show, a good show. We'll talk about the good show and then we'll, we'll, I'll, ask, I'll ask David what's happening with this and what this all means. But, okay, so... <clears throat> Things I do know, Negan is uh, is crossed over. You know, he's he's pop culture. He's cool, and he's like, I hope you've got your shitting pants on. Uh, I was in four episodes of Oz. What? What's happening? I don't know. Uh. I hope you got your shitting pants on. Because you're about to shit your pants. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that ain't cool. That's pretty cool. Negan makes me want to watch it. I'd probably watch the episode where he kills them all. Um, and then there's this whole bunch of shit happening. Some guy with really funky, funky dreadlo dreadlocks, and it just looked awful. And um, you know, the, the zombies look shit to reasonable most of the time. And then I've got Rick at the end. With a uh, really bad hair dye, really bad beard. It looks fake. I don't know if it's real, but it looks fake. And it looks like he's either in, he's in heaven, or maybe he's in a facility of some sort. I'm not sure. I don't even know what happened to him. Did he die? I have no idea. But, again, for someone that's cold watching it, it didn't really pump my nads. I just... doesn't really do it for me. Um, I've never really got it. Like, I like, I think his name is Norman Reedus. I've liked him in a whole bunch of things that he's done, especially the first thing I ever saw him in was called Gossip, and I really, really enjoyed that. Um, but no, I just, it just doesn't pump my nads, I've got to say. So, 
maybe that one works for you guys. Oh, in terms of uh, the ratings for the trailers, out of five, uh, Humans is going to get a... I'm not going to make fart sounds. I don't even like fart sounds in Game of Thrones, but it pisses me off. Um, yeah, and Humans is going to get like a, a zero because I, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't exist. And Walking Dead, I mean, it's not. I don't know if it's a bad trailer or not. So I don't know. But that can get a, okay. So uh, Negan's pretty cool, and it makes me go, "Oh, that Rick guy here." But I wonder what's happened to him. So I want to know the answer to those two things. But I'm not going to watch the show. I'm just going to ask someone. So that's maybe a one. Yeah, I'll give you a one. All right, we'll go with one. Okay, what's the gifted? Let's check this bad boy out, shall we? Remember, you folks are meant to come in and, and, and let me. So I think we just experienced the first there. It's taken me one year and two days to talk and pause a podcast. But I'm sure that's going to be kind of funny and a little bit jarring. But I'm hoping it's funny and you're like, oh, you fucked up. And, you know, yeah, I did. So I'm not going to hide that because I actually don't do that much editing to this. I mean, I, I fix the sound a little bit and cut off a little bit at the end and the start. And then that's really it. That is really it. So what you guys hear, it's not um, it's not me fiddling about and trying to make us sound cooler than we are or smarter than we are. We're just that smart. Yeah, we are. So the gifted. Wow, I didn't realize what that was. That's sweet. That's got me pumped. I mean, I'm a. I was just saying, oh, and humans isn't the X Men, and then I get X Men trailer. And you, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how that one slipped me by. Maybe it got mentioned to me. I don't know. Like, as you well know, there is so much movie. TV stuff, comic book stuff going on, it's hard to keep track of everything. So, I watched the Gifted trailer and I'm like, okay, it's kind of like Heroes, but Heroes is basically the X-Men. So I'm like, oh, the blonde girl, the short wee blonde girl with the big um, um, pictorial region is the main sort of character, it seems. Huh. We have seen that before. It does feel a little bit like Heroes, then Amy Acker's in it and she's from Angel and I'm like, oh, there's Amy! And she still looks pretty hot and she's playing a mom, but she could totally play like, like 28. 27, you know, like, yes. Um, don't like her with, well, she's fine with blonde hair, but I prefer her with the dark hair, you know, as, um, as, as she was an angel. Um, <sighs> hmm. I was reading about it, right? I was reading about the show and trying to figure out where it fits into the X-Men universe, and, um, uh, according to Donner, um, who is the director or the creator of the show, uh, the producer, Lauren Schuler Donner. According to Donner, <clears throat> I'm doing this all totally off the cuff unprepared because um, I like to keep things uh, fresh and exciting that way and live, you know, as possible. Um, he explained that unlike the first X-Men series, Legion, which I've not watched yet, I wonder if I should, let me know if I should or not, okay? Um, this is much more a part of just the world in terms of there are mutants, mutants are hated, you feel like you're here in the X-Men world. Despite this, the cinematic universe will not worry about these TV worlds at all. We'll just continue in the way that they have been continuing. Um, so he also says that um, X-Men films don't perfectly add up. And I get my, getting all this from Wikipedia, right? And um, there's something later on that he said that I kind of liked. Um, the show contains some of the characters that fans will be excited about. One of them was going to be the, the Sentinels. And allegedly... If you're to put things into the continuity, it's Moyer. I presume that's another producer. Just catch his name right here. Moyer, Moyer, Moyer. Brian Singer's part of this as well. So is Simon Kinberg. So it's like, oh, that's pretty freaking good. And uh, Nix is, uh, Matt Nix is executive producer. Uh, where's Moyer? Huh. That's weird. Oh, Stephen Moyer. He's <laughs> he's one of the actors. Ha <laughs> um, Yeah. So this is what happens when you do it live, kids. This is what happens when you do it. Live. Um, he's saying that the gifted would be set between Legion and um, and Logan, basically. So that's pretty cool. Um, and Nick's also noted that the film X Men: Days of Future Past established multiple different timelines or streams in the X Men universe, which I've always said is the case. So your continuity, schmontinuity, nope, nope, different streams. And that series would take advantage of those to avoid the films and comics and instead do our own thing. He explained that in the series stream, the X-Men have disappeared, which is not just because they're too expensive for television and something that the show would explore. Interesting. So I reckon we'll get a couple of cameos if it makes a little bit of money. So this has got me pumped. I kind of want to watch it. But again, there's so much shit I want to watch. Like, 
And Steve said it on the site, like, when are we going to find time to watch all this content? Like, it's a full-time job just watching what we watch now, and then they're giving us all this extra goodness. Oh, I don't know. Uh, the, the trailer got me so pumped. Um, I'm not saying it's, it's perfect. I mean, I think some of the acting's a little bit, you know, it's a TV series, let's just put it that way. The person that sticks out to me that didn't seem like that good an actor was, I want to say it was Warpath. I want to say it was Warpath. Um, I'm terrible with names, so um, you can forgive me for being terrible with the names of characters, can't you? Sorry, Thunderbird. Meh, Thunderbird, there we go. Um, yeah, he doesn't seem very good. Sorry, fans of his. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four. But Warpath, you sucked a little bit, and it does look a little bit cheap, but it is a TV show, and they're asking for some lofty things. Okay, we've done those three. I, was, I wasn't I was excited about Inhumans, I wasn't excited about Walking Dead. The Gifted, I wasn't excited about, but now I am. Um, Defenders is next, and then we've got the main events of Justice League and Thor Ragnarok. I think I'm going to save Justice League for last. So we're going to get right into the Defenders in a mo. I'm sure you folks might notice a difference in the audio quality um, as I went to watch the Defenders trailer, the uh, the theatre across the street. Well, I've complained about it for the entire time you've been podcasting. Someone's like, using a saw or some shit or drilling or what, and I think it's a saw, and making a whole bunch of noise. So now we're in a, the east wing of the house, and I'm just hoping that because it's a sunny day I don't get some busker coming out and uh, ruining my podcast. So, apologies if the sound quality's changed. The uh, podcast room has got better, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Better, it's like sound quality, that's not the right word. Better acoustics. So, we'll just see what we get through here. So again, apologies, but there's not much I can do. It's completely out of my control um, that the theatre is being rebuilt. Um, in this town, that's what you get for buying a penthouse behind, b- beside, you know, uh, large uh, council-run operations. Because man, they're taking a sweet ass time. And Esma, I, I was going to tell you something that I saw them do the other day, which is, you know, bad health and safety. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want people losing their jobs. But they done fucked up, yo. Anyway, so I just watched the Defenders trailer, and I didn't watch Iron Fist. I really tried, I really tried, but the thing is, is that the, the lead actor, and I can't remember his name, and um, he's just shit. Like, I just don't really... I never found him very engaging in Game of Thrones. There's just nothing about him that really pumps my nad, so to speak. Um... And, and the show was really boring. I was like six episodes in and nothing happened. I don't even think this hand went yellow. Maybe it had. Maybe you watched it and you, you know everything about it and all that kind of stuff. But I just... I just found the show really boring. And other there's just so much so much choice, you know. It's got to be good. And it just seemed like... It wasn't very good. Uh, is his name Finn Jones? Is that his name? Yeah. Just, I don't know. Maybe it gets good later on. Um, so that's a thing, but I watched all the other series of, um, well, the, the other series that uh, preceded or will precede the Avengers, which would be two episodes of Daredevil, which is totally sweet, and um, the uh, Jessica Jones, which I don't really like her as a character that much. I liked some parts of it. I liked I liked uh, Kilgrave. Um, I just found her a little just whiny. Um, I really did like Nick, uh, Luke Cage until Nick Cage. <laughs> okay, um, I really liked Luke Cage until like the villain was was hokey and some of the fight scenes. I mean, okay, he's got super strength, so pinging them on the head and stuff like that would, would definitely work, but. It was a little bit cheesy at times, but I actually really enjoyed it, especially, I mean, up until, I mean, I was so hooked up until, I don't want to spoil anything, but um, you know I'm talking about mid-season, and you know, yeah, you know. Um, So, 
the second part of it, I just didn't really dig that much of, of Luke Cage. But I'm going to watch The Defenders for sure. And if it's really good, if it's really fucking good, it'll get me to go back and watch um, and watch uh, Iron Fist. But I'm down for Daredevil. I'm always down for more Daredevil. I really like all that, just in that, the whole thing. And the Defenders trailer, it's got... It's got Electra back, which is totally sweet. Um, she was really fun and interesting. Um, I think it'll be quite cool seeing Sigourney Weaver doing her heel thing. Um, did they show... The trailer was a lot longer than I expected, but... Excuse me, that's okay. Uh, I mean, I'm down for it. I'm just down for it, so... Oh, excuse me. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I... Yeah, I think... Uh, I think I'm probably going to give it... A three and a half. I, it's not to say that I, I definitely like the Gifted trailer better. It's just that I like a lot of things in the, the Marvel TV universe and other things I dislike, so I'm apprehensive. But right now, the thing that's got me most excited is the Gifted. But then saying that, if I had the choice to watch the Gifted or Defenders... Episode 1, I'd probably watch Defenders first. So, hmm, interesting. Where do you guys sit on this one? Right, now we're getting to the big two. And I'm really excited for this. And this is where I really wanted to get to today. I want to get to... Oh, which one do I choose first? I think I'm going to go with Thor Ragnarok because it came out... It, because it comes out first. And because I'm hoping Justice League is everything that it should be. That was a frickin' sweet trailer. Wow. Like, they are using Chris Hemsworth so perfectly right now. Just that dry, deadpan humour, you know, and him and Hulk are talking and it's like, oh, we had a fight. Who won? Me. Easily, soundly beat you. <laughs> and he's like, Banner's like, that doesn't sound right. Well, happened. That's the way it is. I won. You know, <laughs> you're like, that's fucking brilliant, man. He has got such good comedy, such good comedic timing. It's unbelievable. I mean, you're getting to see that Loki's also being captured. They're going to pal together and do their thing. And as much as Loki's a great villain, kind of just want him to be a face now. You know, he's just, he's given that spike run from Buffy. You know what I'm saying. And then we got the chick from uh, Fast and the Furious who... I just think she's a shit actress. I see her and I think I'm not interested in her, so I'm not bothered about her. Um, we've got Kate Blanchett, who looks gorgeous. Like, just fantastically, like, with the with the god Skeletor giant horn crown. I mean, that's like Jack Kirby. Um, that's like all about the big fucking giant heads like Galactus and the whole thing I mean that's super cool then she says you know I'm not I'm not a a monster or, or whatever I'm the I'm the goddess of death and you're like oh yes Thanos is going to be totally like all about scoring her and can you blame him because she looks slamming and just evil and so powerful I mean the fact that Thor threw the hammer Mjolnir and she grabs it and just crushes it like it's nothing I mean that's insane. I mean, it's going to be so crazy watching watching them fight. Banner looks funny in regular Banner clothes, so I hope there's a reason for why he's got regular Banner clothes, as opposed to you know, like otherworldly kind of robes and garments. Um, it's got this kind of Guardians of the Galaxy vibe to it with some of the imagery and the visuals in terms of like the special effects and the designs which is obviously them trying to bridge the two somehow, um, which makes a lot of sense, um, because you've got the Collector and you've got uh, someone else's... The Collector's brothers in this film, um, and I can't remember his frickin' name, because I suck a big one uh, for Ragnarok. I'm just diving names, folks, I really am. It's, it's terrible. Um, Jeff Goldblum, and he plays the something or other, the Grandmaster. There we go. Um, 
You see a little bit of Idris Elba fighting, like down and dirty fighting, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we'll get to see what he's about, because he's obviously pretty badass. Um, and apparently uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is in it. So we're going to get a little bit of um, Doctor Stephen Strange jumping in there. Now, I'm reading something here suddenly. Mm -mm. Okay. There's a guy called Korg, who's one of Thor's friends, and he's some hulking guy made of rocks. Oh, right, so he's like the big blue monster dude. I don't really know him that well. I don't know the Ragnarok storyline. Like I say, I'm like I'm 20 years out of comic books, and I, my heyday was the 90s. And then, basically, I got an apartment, I got bills, and I've just been working ever since, and uh, fell out of the way of comics, and I just, I never... I never really know how to get back into them. What's worse is I think I lost my comic book collection from then. I know. I had Age of Apocalypse, the whole thing. I had the 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 the, the Spider Clone saga. Bad times. Anyway, so I don't really know what's what's happening in Thor Ragnarok. I don't know some of these characters. Um but it's got me hella pumped. The only thing I don't like is I think Thor's, Thor's hair looks silly. Like I don't. I suppose it's easier, and maybe maybe the helmet looked better with with the short hair. But I don't know. Thor's got long hair. That's the way it is. Without the long hair, he looks less like Thor and more like Chris Hemsworth. And that's my that's my only gripe about it. So I think that was a mistake. I think that was. Um, I think that was a big mistake actually. But otherwise. Hulk's had a haircut as well. He looks kind of a bit sharper looking, and he can talk, which is freaking sweet. You know, they're, they're like, we're, we're, we're one and the same, you and I. And Hulk's like, yes, I am like fire. You are like water. And Thor's like, well, I'm kind of, I'm kind, kind of the fire too. You know, kind of, yep, I'm that, I'm that guy too. Yes, but I am the big angry fire. You are smoldering weak fire. <laughs> Thor's just pissing himself laughing. I just love how these guys are going to go at it the whole time, and it's going to be just absolutely hilarious. It's going to be that kind of that passive aggressive humour which some of you just can't beat. That is a trailer. The Thor Ragnarok trailers are going to be pumped all the time. The Thor films, everything about Asgard and the whole thing is great. When they involve the humans, not so good. Thor The Dark World, listen to our MCU movie review series. You're going to find out how we feel about all this thing. The whole, whole, whole Thor gig, the whole MCU right in there. But I really am excited about the whole Thor thing. Um, I've got to give it a four out of four and a half out of five. That's almost a perfect trailer. It's almost a perfect trailer. I mean, what what actually makes it not a five? Huh. I mean, that girl that I don't like's in it, but that's not the trailer's fault necessarily. But since we, since I do strive for perfection, she's the reason that it's going to be a five. And of course, when I speak to David this week, so we're probably going to recap this entire trailer episode in some sort of small way. We might get a little bit excited, and maybe it should be a five. But what do you guys think? Right now, that's the top trailer. Okay. I may have done it the wrong way around, because maybe I should have saved the best for last. And Thor Ragnarok, the trailer was always going to be good. But I'm going to go, I'm going to watch The Justice League. I just hope it's good. Oh! Oh yeah, that did it. Yeah, that finished me off. That was... That was the one. That was definitely the one. Oh my god, that was fucking amazing. That was... So good. Like, they start off, they've got plenty of Wonder Woman. You're like, oh yeah, Wonder Woman. I like Wonder Woman. Everyone likes Wonder Woman. Let's watch, let's watch some of that. What's happening with her? I recognise this area, I recognise this land. What'd you do there, Anna? Nothing much, you know. Born weekend, okay, okay. They're talking about the Superman. I think that's cool. They called him the Superman. They've got that flag up there, and you're like, ah oh, shit, soups is gone, but maybe, maybe he's you know. And then you've got um you know, the the, the villain and uh Wolf and Fuck me, my memory's bad. Um But yeah, the villain comes down and just such a big 
beastly monster, you know, and you're like, yes, this guy's this guy's business. This guy's absolutely a business. Steppenwolf, there we go. Syrian Hins. He's in uh, the Game of Thrones. Oh yes, yes he is. Um, that was just, he's just, that's a villain you need for this team. And then just drop in those little bits, you know, Ackman's like, oh, I think we're kind of fucked here, yo, you know, he's doing that. He's basically doing the whole Thor gig. Uh, Flash is doing, like, the silly comedy, like, the Ant-Man. Cyborg's kind of going to try and be, like, the roadie badass. You know, Batman's keeping them all together, kind of like a mixture of Iron Man and Captain America. I mean, uh... Oh, gosh, I've heard some rumours about Ben Affleck being gone as Batman now. I just hope that they can work things out. I really do, because Ben Affleck is just born for that role. He's just massive, intimidating, but suave and cool. And Oh, what a trailer. The Parademons look brilliant. Um, Stephen Wolf looks fantastic. Um, they obviously come and collect the mother boxes with some boom tubes. And they're preparing everything for uh, Dark Side. I mean, phenomenal. Like, those fight scenes look sweet. Slightly, slightly disappointing at Matt in the Aquaman, kind of like surfboarding the Parademon all the way down through the building because it looked a little bit not, not just perfect. Cyborg's DJI looks great though. Flash just, his, his, his outfit looks cool as. The way he disappears is cool. Um, they've also made the trailer a bit more fun. I think they could have made it a little bit darker at the start, but I think they're trying to keep uh, that that fun flow and 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 have Wonder Woman, you know, being a bit more of a focus. So, oh man, that trailer is so good. I am so pumped for this. And then you get the reveal that maybe, I mean, it probably is. It's almost ninety nine percent sure, but you've got Superman at the end standing there talking to Alfred, and uh, wow. I mean that's it's a four point seven five for sure. That that does beat Thor. Thor I'm excited for, but this gave me chills. Just the same way I know there's problems with BVS, but some for some reason that film just gives me the chills, and this does it too. And I am just so excited for this. And this is one of, and hope 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 Ben Affleck comes back. So kind of had we've kind of done a lot of the trailers here, um, and we've kind of went they've got better over time, should I say? So. Just to recap real quick, and I'm using the buffgeekpodcastblog.wordpress.com website. Yes, I am. We've watched the Inhumans trailer, which I'm nonplussed about. Zero. I mean, actually, it looks really, it looks really cheap and bad. I can't believe it's attached to Marvel. Zero. Um, or the first chapter film with IMAX cameras. I don't care. Um, it doesn't look good. Uh, the Walking Dead season eight. I mean, I'm going to ask what happens with Negan. I'm going to ask what happens with Rick. Um, but I'm never going to watch the show. The show has never really did it for me. That's like maybe like a one because of those questions. But I won't even watch the show. The Gifted makes me want to watch that show. So that, you know, I love me some X-Men. Maybe I should be revising it. Maybe it should be a three and a half. Maybe it should be a three and a half because that and Defenders are both about the same for me. So I reckon probably three and a half out of five bananas. And then we come up to Thor Ragnarok, a 4.5. And which is no fault that it can't be number one. It just so happens it's going against the Justice League, and they did it justice. Haha, <laughs> you like that pun? Yes, you do. That's a massive 4.75, almost perfect trailer. So pumped for it. Gave me the chills. I think I'm spent. I gotta go do this. Uh, gonna go and uh, make these alterations to the gym. Um, I want to thank the sponsors to the podcast. Spot the sponsor for this podcast and every single podcast in the past, future, forevermore is Alpha Fitness. If you're interested in personal training, if you're interested in nutrition plans, online coaching, lifestyle coaching, whatever you're looking to change, Alpha Fitness can help you. And as a listener of the podcast, you will get 20% off for the month of July. Just quote at the Buff Geek when you're making your inquiries. And also our other sponsor, which is Sante Wine Bar and Restaurant, which can be found in Perth. Um, if you're going there for a meal, can't do it off the alcohol, it's not legal, yo. But if you're going there for a meal and you quote Alpha Fitness, you'll get 10% off the food bill. So we got your back, get you fit, get you healthy, get your mind adjusted right, any barriers you've got on your way, 
get rid of those that self fitness then we'll get you some good, good some good food some nice drinks a great atmosphere warm welcome down at Sante. it's gonna look good feel good and be rewarded good yeah we got your back yo uh, if you want to be a sponsor of the podcast let us know we can maybe work something out if you guys meet our criteria and we meet yours um Again, I want to thank everyone who's been involved with this podcast over the last year. This is the first one of year two. Year two. This is year two. Um, I also want to thank Luke Dog for uh, helping, well, helping change the Alpha Fitness logo, uh, amend it into the new Buff Geek podcast logo with the colours, the Superman colours, which I've had for a long time, but not in a, not on this uh, format had on t-shirts and such speaking of t-shirts maybe you want a t-shirt let us know i think uh, we're all out of time here folks sorry who's this i think we're all out of time here folks yes if you know who that is i'll be really impressed be really impressed catch you all soon hashtag the buff geek podcast Again, a special thanks to y'all for helping make year one a fantastic year. We've got year two coming. Get sharing, get liking, get subscribing, put out the love. We'll give it back to you in tenfold. <laughs>